This rich player was on my prison server, and he was mining in one of the poorest mines. I was confused on why he was mining here, so I just stayed to see what he would do. A few minutes went by, and a new player joined my prison server. This rich player was just staring at him, but then he decided to drop him his netherite pickaxe, and the noob seemed really happy. This was super nice of him, so I told this guy to go to his plot. Once we got there, I asked him if he wanted a challenge for a super prize, and he instantly said yes. The challenge is, he has to beat me in a 1v1. The the twist is, I'm on one heart. When the fight started, I was comboing him, but he managed to get some hits on me and I was eliminated. So for his reward, I gave him the best rank on the server for an hour. But what he doesn't know is that for every time someone likes or comments, an hour gets added to his rank. I was on my prison server when I found these two people mining in one of the poorest mines. They looked like they were a couple, so I wanted to mess with them. I changed their entire mind to obsidian, and they looked super confused. But it seemed like they were about to give up mining, so I quickly changed it back. Then I decided to turn their mine entirely to diamonds. They looked really happy. They tried to mine as many diamonds as possible, but when I turned the mine back into iron, they seemed really upset. The girl even put down a sign asking him for his diamonds, but the guy didn't seem to want to drop her any. So then the girl girl started chasing him at 100 miles per hour. The guy tried running away and even building up, but that's when the girl started flying and eliminated him. This girl was caught using cheats, so I took out my sharpness 1000 sword and eliminated her. Now the girl is trapped in a bedrock box, and for every person that subscribes to me, one piglin will spawn for her to fight. And for every like this video gets, I'll drop the e-boy one diamond. I was on my prison server spectating this guy. He was just mining like a normal player. I checked his inventory and he had a really good pick. So what I did was replace it with a wooden one. Then all of a sudden, he started to nuke him. I was confused how he was doing this. So I set his whole mind to bedrock to see if he would nuke this. He was still breaking bedrock like it was nothing. This couldn't be possible. So I TP'd him here. And this is the largest maze in Minecraft. I told him if he could beat this maze, he wouldn't be banned. So to make it even harder, for every person that likes this video will spawn one TNT in front of him. And if he dies, for every person that subscribes to me, he'll be banned for one hour. This new player joined our prison server today, and I was feeling generous, so I decided to help him. As he was playing, I changed his mind to bedrock, and he looked super confused. Then I changed it back, and he just continued mining. So the next thing I did was clear his entire mine. But little did he know, I pasted the richest mine below him, and he fell right onto it. He seemed really happy, but he only had a stone pickaxe, so I dropped to make god pickaxe from the sky and this guy immediately started mining i'm going to let him keep this for one hour for every person that subscribes to me and i'm gonna give him top rank on the server for one hour every time someone likes this video so let's make him happy this player was setting off a ton of alerts on my prison server and when i teleported over to him i noticed that his entire mine was just stone there was no ores at all in the entire mine and this really confused me because i didn't even know this was possible however it also explains why he was setting off so many alerts so i just I decided to help this guy out by changing his entire mine into diamond ore and he was really happy and I let him mine for a little bit before I changed it into coal and this made him really upset so I changed it into emeralds which are impossible to get in any mine so this guy was super happy before I removed all the blocks and he fell to become eliminated however I teleported him back and revealed that I was trolling him and turned his entire mine into diamond blocks and then I enchanted his pickaxe with efficiency 1000 so he can mine super fast and you'll get to keep Keep all of this for one day each time someone likes this video. This guy joined my prison server and it seemed like he was new. When I teleported to him, he didn't even have a pickaxe to mine any of the blocks. So I wanted to help him. While he was struggling to mine blocks, I decided to drop a god pickaxe from the sky. And he seemed super confused. But then he started mining. He was mining super fast, but who would even want to mine in such a poor mine? Which is why I teleported him into the richest mine on the server. He looked really happy and he went straight to mining. I'm gonna let him keep this for one one hour for every person that subscribes to me and i'm gonna give him top rank on the server for one hour every time someone likes this video so let's make him happy here's why this is the best prison server on minecraft for starters you get your own private mine which you can expand and upgrade and there is a ton of pickaxe enchants with my favorite two being the frozen gorg and the prophet enchant combo which as you can see uh destroys the entire mine but there's also so many more custom features 
buy custom armor, robots to generate you passive income, milestones to unlock to give you OP crates, and so much more. So come check it out. My Minecraft prison server has tons of custom features. Like this new OP mortar, you can build an upgrade. To construct this mortar, just complete these three easy requirements. Once the mortar is built, it will randomly shoot, eliminating most of your mine. To upgrade your mortar, check out the four unique tiers. Right click once you've completed the requirements. The more you upgrade, the more damage it will do on your mine. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. I found a brand new player on my prison server that was mining in the wood mine. I decided to help them out so I gave them a skull splitter axe. They were super excited and started mining right away with it. I went AFK for a little bit and came back on and look at all the progress they made. Because they work so hard for every single like this video gets I'll give them one log and I'll do whatever the top comment says. This guy was breaking blocks super quick. I zoomed in on his hand and he had an enchanted stone pickaxe. But then I looked in his inventory and found something shocking that his stone pickaxe was only efficiency 3. Then he started mining in spheres which means he is hacking and nuking his own plot. Funny thing is, hacking isn't allowed on my prison server. And since we are resetting soon, I turned his whole plot into TNT admit it. And it lagged the entire server. Since he was hacking, I teleported him in the sandbox that fills up every time someone leaves a light. Make him suffocate inside it. I was on my Minecraft prison server server when I teleported to a player that was setting off anti-cheat alerts. And while I was watching him, I noticed that he was using speed hacks. This is an unfair advantage, so I knew I had to mess with him a little bit. I started by enabling slippery hands, and his pickaxe kept slipping out of his hands. And eventually, he got stuck in a one-by-one -one hole. I thought this was super funny. So the next thing I did was teleported him to me and confronted him for hacking. And at this point, he knew he was caught. Because after this, he instantly put down a sign admitting to his hacks. This this was enough proof for me to ban him, so here is what I'll do. I told the hacker that if he could mine all of this dirt I had just placed, he'd stay unbanned. But what he doesn't know is that for every time someone likes the video, one piece of dirt is added. And every time someone subscribes, it gets reset. So make him rage found a new player on my prison server and I wanted to help them out so I gave them a power axe, some warden's armor, and even a free criminal rank. They put the armor on, redeemed their rank, and started using their brand new axe right away to mine all the wood in the wood mine. I went AFK for a little bit and then checked back in and look at all the progress they made. This server is Bedrock and Java Crossplay. Anyone can join. The IP import is in the comments. See you there. I was on my prison server when I found these two people mining in one of the poorest mines. They looked like they were a couple so so I wanted to mess with them. I changed their entire mind to obsidian and they looked super confused, but it seemed like they were about to give up mining. So I quickly changed it back. Then I decided to turn their mind entirely to diamonds. They looked really happy. They tried to mine as many diamonds as possible. But when I turned the mine back into iron, they seemed really upset. The girl even put down a sign asking him for his diamonds, but the guy didn't seem to want to drop her any. So then the girl started chasing him at hundred miles per hour. The guy tried running away and even building up, but that's when the girl started flying and eliminated him. This girl was caught using cheats. So I took out my sharpness 1000 sword and eliminated her. Now the girl is trapped in a bedrock box. And for every person that subscribes to me, one piglin will spawn for her to fight. And for every like this video gets, I'll drop the e-boy one diamond.